is this gumball machine real or AI? It's AI. And so am I. And so is this whole video. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mad Sal, your go-to resource for all things AI, Photoshop, and just general good life advice. If you got a boo, buy them flowers. That's your free piece for today. Today, I'm gonna show you how I create AI videos of myself. The AI models I am using are Flux 1.0, Mystic 2.5, and VO3. I'm using these via freepick.com and Google Flow. If that all sounded like a foreign language to you, don't worry, hang in there. I'm gonna explain everything and, you know, it's mildly beginner friendly. I would say so. If you're a beginner and you try this, let me know if it was friendly. If you're liking these tutorials, subscribe for more so I can keep making them for you. Here is the fast, fast, fast overview of how I do things. In FreePick, I create a custom character of myself by uploading many, many, many photos of me at many angles and many expressions. And I train a model to recognize what Mad Sal looks like. So when I prompt it to create an image and tag Mad Sal, it knows to make the image look like me. This basically trains the AI to recognize what the pixel pattern of Mad Sal looks like and doesn't generate a whole new person. I write a description of the image that I wanna generate and then I tag my character so it knows to create that image of Mad Sal. I use other AI tools to perfect the image to my liking. I then download the image and upload it to Google Flow where I ask VO3 to create a video of that image saying what I want it to say. That's a simple explanation. Now let's get complicated. I've only done this a couple times. It's getting better and better each time. So let's see how this goes today. We're starting in free pick. In my last video, I explained some of the pricing points. You can go look at that if you wanna learn more about freepick.com. It's an AI suite. It hosts a bunch of different AI models. So then you don't have to go to a bunch of different websites, pay for a bunch of different plans. I can just pay for my free pick plan and play with all these other AI models right within FreePick's website. So we're in FreePick. Let's go to generate image. We want to create a character. FreePick has all of these characters built into their website that you could choose from, or you can create a character of your own. I created a character named Mad Cell. You can see I uploaded many, many images of myself at many different angles with many different expressions. You are providing the AI model with all of these photos, which will serve as stylistic and structural references for the AI to look at when it is generating the new image. All of that becomes character data. So then when you are asking another AI model like Flux or Mystic to reference your character data, it will ingest that so it doesn't just create a whole new woman. It's going to create the woman that I gave it data for. If you wanna create a new character, you can go over here, click new character, name it, assign it a gender, add images. It says 12 to 24, though five to 25 can also work. I gave it a lot of images. I gave it even more than suggested. You have to play with it. I've noticed since a lot of my images are photos of me sitting in this environment wearing this necklace, it will usually give me this necklace. It will often place me in this environment, which is why it's good to add a lot of variation. So then it doesn't just stick you in the same place every single time. Let's get to it. Create your own character. Remember, don't create characters of other people that you don't have permission to create characters for. Don't be weird. Don't be a creep, please. We're having fun. Over here is where you generate images in FreePick and where you are prompting these AI models with exactly what you want. You have all these options. The models that you can use characters with are Flux and Mystic. The reason why these are the only two models you can use when creating a character is these are the only two models that have been trained to ingest data in that way. I'm sure in the future, most of these models will be trained to learn what certain characters are, but right now, these are the only two. The same way a dog learns a trick. You know, not all these dogs know how to play dead, but these two dogs know how to play dead. So we are trying to play dead and that's why we are choosing Flux and Mystic. <laughs> what a good analogy. Oh, genius alert. Okay, let's pick the aspect ratio of what you want your image to be. I'm doing nine by 16 because that is the aspect ratio of my videos. And we want to 
briefly describe in our prompt the exact situation that I would like to see my character in. All of my videos kind of have the same setup. I'm standing, I'm pointing at something. So let's describe that. Medium wide shot of a young blonde woman, I'm young, smiling at the camera and pointing to a space on her left. So we all know and love my series, AI or Real, where I say, is this water bottle real or is it AI? <gasps> it's AI and it disappears. So I want to create an entirely AI version of one of those clips. So I want my AI to say, is this gumball machine real or AI? It's AI. And then the gumball machine will disappear. And then AI Mad Sal will say, and I'm AI too. That's my vision. Let's see if we can make it work. <laughs> So setting set in a brightly lit candy store. She is wearing a purple sundress. And let's see what that gives us. Down here, you can play with the amount of images that you want it to generate. It just depends what you're looking for. I like having these four options. Wow, these look pretty realistic. Okay, that one failed, so we have three. I don't like that angle. I want to be looking at camera. That looks okay. I want a little more space. So maybe not medium wide. Let's just do wide and do a full body. Okay, wide shot of young blonde woman. Also, do I hate the dresses? It's too dressed up for a candy store. Let's do, she is wearing a purple cotton tank top and a denim skirt. That's like something I would wear. Generate again. But now I'm pointing at myself. These all really look like me. It's getting really good at learning what I look like, which is astonishing. Let's do wide shot, wide full body shot of a young blonde woman smiling at the camera, pointing to an open space. So then hopefully that gives us enough room to generate a gumball machine. And let's do brightly lit candy store. White walls, colorful, things of candy. In the background, no additional human figures. The woman is wearing a purple cotton tank top, a denim skirt, and cowboy boots. I'm sticking with Flux right now because it is generating highly accurate photos of me. So I don't want to switch to a different model. Cool. This is more what I'm talking about, baby. That one doesn't look like me. That's a big old jaw on her. That one doesn't look that much like me either. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Let's not have her pointing because it's giving weird hands. Face is well lit because there are a lot of shadows over here. I like the outfit. It looks like something I would wear. I'm trying to be as true to the videos on my social media as possible. These are pretty good. My skirt's too short. This one looks a lot like me. Okay, we're gonna go with this one. The buttons on the skirt are weird. The skirt's too short and there's really not that much room in this image to generate something new into. Let's stay in FreePix image editor. This is something that I would typically do in Photoshop, but FreePix has a pretty good image editor. So let's just stay here while we can. Retouch, you can paint onto the image the same way you would use the lasso tool for generative fill in Photoshop. So let's see if it'll give me something a little longer. Denim skirt. But the AIs tend to generate kind of like sexy things because the internet's full of that. Okay, I think this one, in the end, it's not really gonna matter because I'm gonna put like a whole gumball machine right here. Let's save, done. Export, we're gonna download this. If you wanted to, within FreePick, you can go up here and click Reuse Image As, and you can take this image and create a video from it. Some of these AI models have the capability to generate a video from a starting frame, the image that you upload. But none of these video models on FreePick have the ability to generate audio yet. I want my video to talk. Of course, I will be replacing the audio with my own voice, but the reason why I am taking this to Google Flow to use VO3 is because since VO3 can generate audio, it has very good mouth movement adherence 
to the words that I ask it to use. In free pick, these other models don't have audio capabilities, so it's not going to give you good mouth movement. If I ask it to create the girl so she's talking to camera, it's just going to look like this. And that's going to look stupid. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're exporting this as a PNG, downloading that. Now we are going to Google Flow, labs.google slash flow. This is basically Google's version of FreePick. I don't think it hosts all the other AI models that FreePick does. I believe it only hosts Google's AI models. So VO3's image to video model is relatively new. It just released, so right now it's not available on FreePick. It might be available by time I upload this video to YouTube. So take a look if you're able to do image to video with VO3 in FreePick, there's no reason to go to Google Flow and to create a whole new account and do all of that stuff. But right now, it's my only option. So we're in flow. We are going down here, frames to video. It's a very simple interface. So it's simple, it's straightforward. You're not gonna get too confused. Plus, upload. That thing we just downloaded. It only does landscape videos. So hopefully it doesn't do anything weird. It just lets those black bars be black bars. We'll work with it. Now, the same way that we created a prompt for the image, we are creating a prompt for the video. We want to be slightly more specific. Static, locked off camera, no camera pans, no camera movement. The Smiling woman speaks to the camera. Is this gumball machine real or AI? So you can go to settings and you can choose the exact model that you want to use. I want VO3 fast. Doing a faster generation is going to give you a smaller video size, but we can always upscale it after. I'm so excited. Here she is. Is this gumball machine real or AI? It's AI, and so am I. And so is this candy store. Th this one was really good. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy. But I want to generate a gumball machine and I'm too close to camera. Okay. Girl, that is me. And it's a thinner version of me, which is even better. That's pretty much me. That's pretty much me. So we'll go down here, click reuse prompt, delete that first frame because we are uploading a new one. The smiling woman speaks to the camera. Her big smile remains on her face the entire time. She says, is this gumball machine real or AI? Still smiling big. She pauses for two seconds. It's AI and so am I. And so is this candy store. Let's do it. This is it. I feel it in my bones. Is this gumball machine real or AI? It's AI. And so am I. And so is this whole video. <laughs> is this oh my God. That was really good. <laughs> yes. That was crazy. This is crazy good. The hands look crazy. Is this gumball machine but the motion is perfect. I'm perfect. This is perfect. Okay, let's upscale this, download, upscaled. Now I'm going to dub over that audio. The bummer is it generated some really cool background sound, um, but there's not a good way to replace the voice yet. Hopefully eventually it will create something where I can train it on my voice and I can basically pick Mad Sal for the voice that I want it to generate. But for now, we dub. Is this gumball machine real or AI? It's AI and so am I. And so is this whole video. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I think I can even play with the sharpness on this a little bit and try to fuss with it a bit to try to make the footage look more realistic. But this is what we have and it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that we've gotten to this point. I'm not gonna lie, that was not easy to make. It also wasn't the most perfect video, but it was still a fairly convincing video of me speaking. Whether you are pro-AI or anti-AI, this is something that we all need to be aware of. So send this to someone who needs to learn a thing or two about AI. <laughs> Remember, various types of deepfakes are illegal in many different locations, and it is important that if you are using AI, use it for good. Use AI for dumb stuff, like turning yourself into a mermaid. If you liked this video, 
give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, comment what other kinds of tutorials you wanna see. I'm gonna keep playing with this footage and hopefully make it perfect, but I will talk to you next time. Bye.